Well, uh, AB 1500 went before the Appropriations Committee first thing this morning, and I was one of the witnesses in opposition, and it was a very interesting hearing. The Republican co-chair of the committee asked a lot of penetrating questions of Mr. Dickinson after the testimony that James Root and I and the speaker from V2 and the speaker from Enjoy gave and ultimately directed all of the Republican members of the committee not to vote. Uh, there was also at least one Democrat who voted against, uh, which means if I have the math correct, and I would probably need to go back and look at all of those people and count, but if I have the math correct, that means that it did not pass the committee and will have to uh, probably go back and be uh, rewritten and uh, reformulated and start over again. Which of course takes an enormous amount of time. So that's um, an unexpected success for uh, vapors today here in Sacramento. Well, here's the thing with the FDA. We're going to all be really busy with that. And I strongly suspect we're going to see more bills like AB 1500. We're already seeing them now. We've seen them in the past, but I do expect that they'll be increasing their intensity because local governments are going to think we're going to be too busy with the FDA. They also already believe that the FDA regulation does not go far enough. So they're going to try even harder in the next two years to get more of these rules and legislations passed and, and written which probably means we're going to have more of these get-togethers and I more of the these fight. fights. I think the we'll fight. be wearing a groove. I'm really pleased at the number of people who showed up today. We have several uh, vendors from different parts of California. We have various uh, vapors and consumers here. And I hope that people continue to support our efforts to stand up for the rights of vapors. My name is Jim Root. I'm from the California Vapor Association. We're a local uh, group here in California focused on uh, supporting uh, vapor retailers as well as e-juice manufacturers. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much at the uh, Grand Vapor Station. You guys have done a great job showing your support for the industry and we really appreciate it. Um, we're out here in Sacramento today. Uh, we just had a great hearing at a on AB 1500 uh, regarding online sales and luckily I was able to speak about the financial in impact that this will have on, uh, on online retailers and to our, our wonderful surprise, we had a bunch of members abstain, and so it looks like the uh, the bill has failed in the, the Appropriations Committee. So we're really excited about that, and we're glad to see that uh, that they're making good choices uh, based on good business. The California Vapor Association is a new group. Um, I, uh, I have been advocating for the vapor industry for the last year or so for a number of individual shops, and I feel that we need a united voice speaking on behalf of uh, vapor retailers both online and brick-and-mortar retailers, fighting those fights that we can win at the local and statewide level. Uh, the federal level is, is very important, and there's other groups out there that are focusing on that. I want to focus on the issues that face us at the local level. My name is Jeff Braithwaite. I'm with Tasty Vapor in Oakland, California. So what happened in Sacramento was just a very minor victory. It's a minor victory. There's a bigger fight ahead. Uh, pretty soon we're going to be gathering as many people as we can, so we're actually giving a shout out to all the vendors and manufacturers in Northern California. There's going to be a meeting up here in Sacramento on May 30th, so we're gathering all the members. Hopefully what we're trying to do is get a Northern California chapter of SPADA together. Uh, right now we're grossly underrepresented. SPADA would take the time to screen out any of the potential lobbyists. They will train them, get them up to par of what we're doing. So we're pooling vendors, we're pooling manufacturers, we're pooling funds, and we're trying to make this happen. So when things like this get put on the docket, we're well represented. So we hope we can count on each of you to show up May 30th. If you're interested, you can get in touch with us at Tasty Vapor, and we'll give you more information at that time. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys there. Take care. Keep the fire.